Hi, welcome to my video. Um, this one's entitled Change DNS on the iPad. Now, there's quite a, l a few reasons you might want to change um, DNS settings on the iPad. I'm using iOS 7 here, by the way. Um, but this one, I'm coming from demonstrating using the new generation of smart DNS servers, which um, are services you can pay for. Um, they don't cost much, a couple of bucks a month. Um, but they enable to help unblock websites and um, gain access to websites that are normally blocked and services and things like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm in the UK, so I can watch um, all UK websites fine. But if I try and get UK versions of something or U uh, US only versions of um, different sites, um, things like Netflix or Hulu, Pandora, NBC, ABC, um, I'm going to get blocked. Um, but here I'm going to show you how Smart DNS works, specifically on the iPad. Right, okay, so just to demonstrate first, as I said, I'm in the UK. Um, and let me show you Netflix. I've got Netflix up here. I've got a Netflix account. Um, this is actually the UK version of Netflix. Um, when I connect, it, it looks at my uh, IP address and directs me here. Um, just so you can see it quickly... Um, one of my annoyances with the British version of Netflix is Lost. Uh, I started watching Lost on it, um, on the UK version, and they've, it's now no longer available. It's only available on the American one. Um, so you can see Lost is un unavailable to stream. Just to show you that I'm on the UK version, not on uh, the US one. Okay, uh, and every time I go, I'll get redirected to that. Now what I'm going to show you, um, let me just close that down. I'm going to show you how smart DNS works and how we change uh, the DNS settings to make it work. Right, you go into your settings button here. Um, you can see here we've got some uh, my Wi-Fi networks. Um, <coughs> I'm currently using this Netgear one, which is right in my office. So I just click on it. And you can see here comes up um, my IP address and all the settings. Now, all these are internal ones. Um, from my uh, home network okay um, you can go and change them in different places but this will only affect this device i.e my ipad so what i'm going to do is go to where dns settings is and just delete them now i'm going to put the smart dns settings that i've got from my service with a company called overplay uh, let me just get it up now uh, on my computer right okay um, I'm gonna have to blur this out because it's probably best if it's kept reasonably secret um, so I just gonna type it in there um, and there we go sorry I'm a bit slow on this keyboard uh, return and I've just changed all oh, that's all I've done is I've changed the one um, IP address for this iPad now. Now you could change this on a Wii or a, um, a Roku or Boxy or your smart TV, anything like that. Um, it should work fine. I've used it on several devices. Or if you go and change it on your router, it basically affects everything that connects through that. Uh, but I'm just doing it on the iPad. I'm going to go to Netflix now. Um, now you'll find it's it's logged me out. Um, so I'll have to log in again and, and I'll tell you why it's logged out because this time it's going to redirect me to the American version. Now the American version of Netflix is far and away the best uh, oops, version simply because it's got about five or six times more content than um, certainly the British one. There are um, other versions of Netflix, the Canadian one. I'm not sh quite sure how they are, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure the American has got loads, thousands and thousands more than any of the other versions, which is kind of a bit annoying. Oops. There's me logging in using the correct password this time. Um, I'm going in. <coughs> Excuse me. And this will be the American version of Netflix. Now you can see it's got my last browse there. And here I can watch Lost. Um, smart, smart DNS has um, taken over. And it's basically 
fooling the, the website to thinking I'm coming from the US. Now, it's not like a proxy or a VPN. It doesn't redirect everything. It'll just affect um, those uh, settings, the, these websites that it's set up for. Like, And most of the uh, websites set up are the big media sites like BBC, Pandora, Netflix, um, the Amazon one, which I forget, and all, all those sort of things. So basically, you control it. Um, it works seamlessly and basically in the background. The way I've set it just on the Netflix account, um, it'll only affect uh, my iPad. So <coughs> it will also allow me to go to BBC because if I try and go to the BBC website, it's smart enough to not block me from the BBC website uh, iPlayer. Basically, it controls what information goes backwards and forwards and I can watch BBC iPlayer perfectly well even though I'm trying to fool it I'm all, I can also watch the um, American version of Netflix um, it's it doesn't provide any security like or encryption like a proxy or a VPN but if you just want to unblock websites on YouTube and stuff like that this is the program you need okay um, you will see a link um, on the video I'm showing where you can get this smart DNS version that I've been using or if you look in the description there's um, a link there that'll take you straight through their website um, it's definitely worth trying try it out for a month it just opens up a whole world of possibilities on the internet and it's very quickly and easy to do as I said I've shown you the iPad one all you need to do is change the DNS settings on whatever device you want to the smart DNS ones Okay, well, thank you for um, listening to my video. I hope it's helped. Um, goodbye. Speak to you soon.